How's it going? <laughs> hey, Toy Fiends, I'm Factor from Urikanji Toys. AJ from KO Toy. Chipter from Good Guys Ever Win. But we are also This is Not a Toy Company. And this video, we're going to talk about a really cool project that we're doing and we're about to release. Um, called the Regenerates, which is a recycled toy project that we've all been working on for a while now. Recycled plastics. Recycled plastic toys. Yes. This is either genius or... <laughs> we, we haven't figured yeah. it out yet. <laughs> we're not sure yet, <laughs> but we're going to explain it and we're going to talk you through it and show you some stuff and some of the process. So. The idea of um, the regenerates was using recycled plastic. Obviously, regenerates is in regenerated plastic. The whole idea was using HDPE and being able to blow mold stuff in factories, but we couldn't do it locally in Australia, so we had to design the figurines here and do them offshore. But, um, as you can see, like a lot of the real hard work comes from actually the production. So the idea is that we've got like a production line, we've got people working on packaging, we've got painting over there. Uh, so uh, the whole idea right now is getting ready for the launch, and the launch will be about um, literally just getting it out there so people know what the figurine is, what the regenerates are about, and then we're going to take them to Thailand. So the end game for this project right now is being able to launch them here and then have them as a featured toy at Thailand Toy Expo. And then after that, hopefully I'll be able to take some to Europe and we can maybe figure out a way of getting um, some kind of show in Europe. Uh, and then, of course, coming back to Australia and doing everything that way, you know, just being able to just travel with this as an idea of recycled toys. I guess the pitfalls of doing the blow molding was the fact that the factory is so far away. We're using a factory on the east side of Java in Indonesia, so it, it's, it's, it's a plane trip there, and then you've got to get on a train, a 12-hour train trip, and then from the 12-hour train trip, it's a two-hour bus ride, and then after the bus ride, it's a motorbike ride from the bus stop. So literally, if I was going to go to the factory tomorrow, it would take me 48 hours to get there. So um, it's, a, it's a process where where there's got to be a lot of communication online, and that's kind of what the pitfalls is, the communication online. If somebody drops the communication, we have to wait ages you know, to hear what the next step is, so, yeah. Blow molding is a technique where you use compressed air to uh, force the plastic into the aluminum molds. The aluminum molds are made overseas uh, and um, they're made by sand casting, a process called sand casting, where you replace, uh, I guess, a wax version of the original and that's displaced with the aluminum so you're able to create uh, something out of a negative that is made from the original that you send over to the factory. Uh, it's a super basic thing. It's actually, it, all this this whole process of toy making uh, predates all the Sofubi stuff, all the soft vinyl that they were doing in Japan. Before they were doing that, they were actually doing this. So this is actually following like kind of a, an old school toy making tradition, but it's kind of forgotten now. Uh, a lot of blow molding now is just used for bottles because um, it's obviously the easiest way and fastest way to use uh, plastic in this way. And then um, specifically HDPE plastic um, is very good for recycling because it has a very low temperature, um, low melting temperature. HDP uh, plastic can be found in shampoo bottles, uh, milk bottles, uh, bottles that contain oils, um, a lot of uh, bottles that are used for uh, anything to do with 
car oil or machine oil. Uh, they're all made with HDPE. So the majority of the stuff that we're using is actually from shampoo bottles. Uh, when we start doing this locally in Australia, we can actually use the milk bottles because there are there's a huge abundance of milk bottles in Australia because of the big coffee culture. So that's that's our hope. That's one of the things that we're hoping to do is actually take this whole process and do it locally. But at the moment, we've got to do it offshore. But that doesn't mean that's not still part of our plan. Very early on when I met Chipta, he was talking about this project of wanting to do recycled plastic toys. And he, he chased this idea for literally years and he tried lots of different avenues. We tried local production in Australia and it never really worked because of you know various logistic reasons. So we finally decided that we'd go and get it done over in Jakarta where he knew we could get it done because he'd got it done before. The way we designed the first thing we designed was the body or I should say chip to design the body um, and with the idea being that you could have multiple different heads that fit on this sort of universal body um, our friend Bill 3d designer extraordinaire sculpted it for us I 3d printed it and that became the master which chip to took the master over to Jakarta and had the metal mold made so that he could blow mold into that the bodies that you see here yeah chipta just said hey we should make some we should make some heads for these while i'm over there make getting the bodies made so we each did up a little sketch and he sculpted them out on the spot and then a couple of days later we had the heads yeah it was pretty quick it was yeah that from go to woe with the heads was a very, very quick process. So these are the first head designs, but the the long-term goal is to have many, many, many head designs that can fit on the body and also arm designs as well and possibly even different body designs in the future as well. And um, so that you've got like an ongoing combination of parts that you can click into each other that'll all work nicely together. Um, yeah, so today and last weekend and over the last couple of weeks, we've actually been sitting there painting all of these from the bare plastic down here. Um, these are the bare pieces and things. And we've each, we've each taken, I think, 30 pieces, 33 pieces, and each one of us is painting in our own style for these initial ones. Um, so Chip has done these. I've been working on a lot of these kind of like little chromey kind of ones. Um, and then AJ has his as well, which is over here. Um, we all have different painting styles, so it's all really cool. So we thought we do that for this kind of like initial run. Um, this initial run is both for our exhibition opening um, where we're going to launch these, but we're also going to take them up to Thailand for Thailand Toy Expo and we're going to release them all out there. So there's going to be a couple of different tiers of these. We're probably going to be selling some blanks um, for artists and stuff, and then we're going to have some that are just in some plastic baggies. And then our premium ones are going to be like all nicely designed. With, they're going to be all nicely designed with packaging and stuff like that. And they'll be our kind of premium pieces. And the best ones that we get out of this, they're all coming out like, yeah, so this is a prototype of what it'll be like in the nice packaging. Um, yeah, the best ones we'll put into that, and they'll be the premium ones. So, yeah, it's a whole. We've got a little like <laughs> little production line going over the last couple of weeks, I guess. And um, yeah, we're almost done.